Homeland Security recommends that when you're in a crowded place to make a mental note of all emergency exits and locations of the nearest security personnel. Also, they say to keep your phone in your pocket so you don't lose it and it's within reach. Sheriff's Office, thank you for joining us. What's the latest you can tell us from the standoff? Okay, at uh, approximately 8 o'clock this morning, deputies were dispatched to the 500 block. Laura Acevedo is live from the department and also spoke to the woman who recorded the video. Laura? Jessica, the woman that recorded the video. We know about this early morning crash. Cassie? Yeah, Tim and Gracia, a community is mourning. The students were excited to see him in the tank all day long. Their aim's been pretty good, and um, some of them were sneaky and came over and, and hit the target without throwing a ball. Yeah, so <laughs> it's I've been in and out of the water quite a bit. But Malvar took the whole thing in stride, saying it's all about getting kids to read and staying eager to learn. The fire department were out in East Bakersfield last night after a home flooded with sewage water here locally. Now that house located on Avenida Escuela had water flowing in the street and inside the home up to three inches deep in some places. I was quite shocked. I mean, you know, you don't you don't believe something like that happening. And it's, there's nothing you can do about it. Those outside of the Department of Human Services today said they've never seen anything like that before. That's like way too inappropriate. There's kids here, you know, and there's like way too much stuff going on. That should be outside the county building. And some say the long lines often create frustration. Immediately I knew that she had not, she had not taken her own life. Family knew and her friends knew that she didn't take her own life. Kelly Canales is determined to prove that her daughter Alexandra Perry did not commit suicide in Lake Isabella in 2014. She told me two weeks before she passed away that um, if something ever happened to her that this person was the one who did it. A search warrant shows that Canales expressed her concerns to the Kern County Sheriff's Office and along with tips from other friends and family convinced KCSO to have Perry's body exhumed for examination of a possible homicide. KCSO has again concluded that Perry killed herself. Canales maintains that the alleged gay lover of Perry's husband of just over 30 days plotted her death. The search warrant shows a man connected to the alleged lover said the gay lover had confessed to him about strangling Perry. She was just living in fear and that, that, that they got out of her what they, what they needed to. They, they killed her for her money. Canales says Perry inherited $5 million after her grandfather passed away. And the search warrant adds that one of the people who has come forward about the possible murder said one of the conditions for $2 million of the inheritance was that she had to be married. Perry married her husband two months after breaking up with her husband's brother. Canales says Perry knew he had been in a relationship with another man and had drug issues, but she wanted to help him. She was very loving and giving and um, very... Just she loved everyone, and she never met a stranger. She wanted everybody to have have nice things, like she, you know, she was afforded, and she just wanted friends and wanted to be loved. We have reached out to the man named as Perry's husband and have not received comment. Canales insists that an autopsy should have been done the night Perry was found hanging in the garage, and that searching two years later doesn't answer the many questions she still has. It's devastating. Life's never been the same and never will be. Jackie, the convention is bringing big names to Bakersfield all weekend, and tonight was no exception. Actor Martin Sheen and the daughter of Robert Kennedy kicked off the dinner tonight honoring farm workers. More than 500 UFW members came together for a dinner to kick off the 20th UFW Constitutional Convention. We have an, an opportunity really to bring in farm workers from throughout the state of California, from Oregon, Washington, other parts of the country. Actor and honorary UFW member Martin Sheen presented the keynote speaker Carrie Kennedy, daughter of Robert Kennedy. She spoke about her father's relationship with Chavez. Robert Kennedy came to Delano and supported Chavez during the Delano grape strike in 1966. Earlier in the day, Carrie Kennedy paid her respects to Cesar Chavez's gravesite. You know, we have a, a long relationship with the Kennedy family dating back to 1966. And the Kennedys have participated in numerous events with us throughout the years. Sheen called Chavez one of his greatest heroes. He visited him during one of his hunger strikes. It is supporting the least of the brothers and sisters, those that have the most difficulty getting heard. So we have to place our voice for them. Also among the 500 guests, former L.A. Mayor Antonio Villarregosa. I think it's important uh, that the people who put 
food on our table, have a basic, uh, decent quality of life. Several farm workers were honored during the dinner. One of those was Justo Tobar, a farm worker of 35 years. Tobar says he is proud of his work and said it was important to continue fighting for more rights like health care and pensions. UFW President Arturo Rodriguez says this weekend is about celebrating the victories the organization has made, but also about fighting for the states that don't have the same rights as California. We have now worker compensation, and we have toilets in the fields, and we have clean drinking water, and we have heat regulations and things of that nature. But in most states, in the United States today, those types of laws and regulations don't exist. Thousands of fruit lovers came out to Murray Family Farms today, ready to get their hands dirty and pick sweet cherries by the dozen. 23ABC's photojournalist David Kaplan was at the festival and has more. Three, two, one. Oh! I think I just got a small piece of pie and lucked out on that one. That's <laughs> That was the only strategy I had. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good family event for all the people to come here. More activities than what you would think just driving by onto the freeway. They should stop and really come in and see the place. I like the cherry point. I just went woo! 12 years ago we developed Murray Family Farms out here at Highway 58 and General Bill and we've been having cherry festivals pretty much every year since then that uh, every year it's gotten bigger and more popular, that uh, we have, today we'll have uh, more than a thousand, maybe two thousand uh, adults and children. Wait for someone to say your name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the cherry Festival activities. We have uh, pie eating competitions for adults and children. We have cherry seed spitting competition, wagon rides onto the farm. This year was a better year because we had colder, wetter winter. And with that, we got better chilling on our cherries. But I would say that we went into this, this cherry season having one of the best, best crops I've seen.